Hi, it's me, Isa. Welcome to the 100th video for As Told by a Widow. Yay! Oh, wow. Um, I, I just decided, everyone, I was trying to collaborate with my children to see if they would be interested in, um, you know, making a cameo appearance. And some were, some weren't, and those that were, it was, you know, um, I had to be very creative in meshing everybody's schedule. And in the process, I was losing my enthusiasm, you all, about my 100th video. You know, and I was like, uh uh. So, with that being said, Guess who's here, though? Me. <laughs> and I've been here since the beginning. So, I'm excited, and that is more important than anything else. Right? And I'm not only excited, I am in a very harmonious place and I'm just happy you all and as I look back because in about I guess about 20 days it will be 13 years since my husband's transitioning. And I think six years since I've been, you know, uh, recording and posting to YouTube um, on this platform that uh, I took, uh, call As Told by Widow. <clears throat> And I, I see the change. When I look at some of my earliest videos and I'll, you know, just stroll through them just so I can see acknowledge, and acknowledge my personal growth. See, everyone, this channel was created not just to share my experiences with you all, but it was also therapeutic for me. Yes, I, you know, do now go to... <laughs> Uh, bereavement groups so and definitely go to those I'm invited to. Um, and I enjoy those. And you know um, it's just all I can say I know you all may your in your grief journey, and depending on where you are, rather is in the beginning of your grief your grief journey, rather it's in your the in the middle or you're, you're 
you've remarried or you or wherever you find or experience grief, loss on this journey. You're looking for that, that, how should I say, uh, that answer, you know? What, you know, the question is, what can I do to make this better? Because I don't like how this feels, right? And when I and what I mean by this, what I've come to understand and experience for myself and has been around loss of so many forms. Uh, I did a video about that. You can check that out. You know, Grief is not only in the form of death, you know, and I've learned that, and I know wherever you're on that journey, the grief journey, you're looking for this complex series of instructions on how to get through it. I know because I was. I was looking for some form of mental, emotional, physical out. Because I didn't like how it, it, which is grief once again, you know, the loss. And I was reading, I was watching videos, and I just wasn't finding that clear yet complex series of events. I need to take, and I was ready and willing to, to take, pay for whatever, because I needed that out. And let me tell you right here, right now, as I approach January 23rd of 2024, the day in which January 23rd is when my spouse pad transitions. There's no complex step-by-step um, -step answer. And if there was, I would tell you. But what I will tell you is actually something very simple. Understand that we all share a common thread, whatever type of grief or loss that you are experiencing. That's heartache, <coughs> uh, anger. Confusion. And I'm not saying that this is a closed-ended list, no. But what I will give you is this one simple tool that I learned that I will share with you. That is now it's not gonna take away everything, all of your feelings. 
but it'll hold you together as you get through it. It's always up because you are. And that is help somebody else. It's just that simple. I know your heart is broken. And on January 23rd, Of 2011, my heart was ripped into pieces, shattered like fine china. And I can tell you, once I applied. This simple, I know, I, not just apply, I accept it for my life. And that is, help someone else heal their heart. It's not complicated. Being help someone else heal their heart. Assist them with positive energy, words of kindness, and when you can't say anything, a smile. Or just say, Axel, how's it going? Or share with them. What makes you happy? I know you're looking for a song out there. You know, and I come into this more often now. <laughs> like I said, it's about to be 13 years. People come to me and they say, what did you do? I say, it took 13 years to get here. It may or may not take you that long. Um... It's just one thing. You heal your heart by helping someone heal theirs. And know that you're going to get through this. It may not feel like it at times, at many times. But you are. Because time is not going to stop for our grief. You know, found that out uh, the hard way, <laughs> even through my job, like, uh, you know, but my 100th video. This has been a therapeutic joy in sharing my journey with you all. So I want to say a heartfelt thank you. And just know And also get find something to get excited about, okay? You know? 
life is good. And for me, I have this relationship with death. This understanding. And that is It's a natural problem. It's, it's a given. There's no way around it. So it's not me bending to death. I know I no longer see death as this grim reaper. I see a cheerleader. I see a motivational speaker when I see death. I see smiles when I see that. Because it's motivating, inspiring me to laugh more right now in the present. To enjoy what I have right now. And that is life. Because It's, you know, like I said, it's a promise that we're going to transition at some point. Or experience loss, grief at some point. So are we, I apologize, and I have zero tissue around me. Um, so do we live a life of dread? No. No, absolutely not. You live a life of excitement, of joy. And that's what Teth and I have. I enjoy life. I am excited at the person that I've become. Because remember, you are not going to go through this journey unchanged. I mean, I'm so, seri I'm so serious about that till I did a, a series, I think a two-part series or a three-part series, on how grief, loss, you know, oh, it's going to change. You know, I have become this person, and I look at a lot of times, I was like, oh, I didn't think I was capable of that. Oh, oh I like it. <laughs> you know, and it's just real simple. Life is amazing. You hang in there. And don't let anybody tell you how long it takes you to grieve. But do know, I always say, now when it gets too heavy, and you don't see any progress. You go get you some help. I suggest professional counseling and grief counseling. Uh, definitely sub, uh, grief support groups. Very early. Because it truly takes... A community. Okay. Joy comes in the morning. There is joy in mourning. You hear me?
not a your morning. There's joy morning. It's there. It's just that our anger and pain is just cloaking it. Find your joy. Be intentional on it. Okay. Um, my tone has changed that I, I just noticed that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys just noticed that. But yeah, I just got a little emotional. I was 13 years. And I'm excited about life, you all. Take care of yourself. Take care of your families. All right? And enjoy the gift of now. Be intentional on your joy, your happiness, your health, your peace. Okay. I know I really want to do something like, you know, special effects and all that good stuff. I still may do that. Um, I got, you know, my situation with my voice it has improved, you know. I guess you can tell that. But we're still getting there. <clears throat> you know, you see how it um, has its variations. But, um, I still may do that. But I did not want to go another moment without sharing with you all my excitement of my 100th video. And I just want to tell all of you thank you. And that my videos bring you the peace or at the very bare at the bare minimum set the seed for your intentional healing and on a deeper level, you nurture your growth. Now remember, my videos are not to take the place of grief support groups, professional counseling. I'm here for real life motivation. The truth that you're going to get through it. And until you're able to cheer yourself on, I'm going to cheer for you. Woo! <laughs> okay. And we're going to continue to encourage each other. We're going to heal each other. Thank you all so much. And continue blessings. And celebrate every success. Okay? I know sometimes, you, like I said, it feels like you're not going to get through it. But you know what? Like I always say, time is not going to stop. So if it, you feel like, oh my goodness, I just can't. I just can't. Remember, I can't is really not. I was always told can't is a dead or it just don't exist because you can. All right. Continue blessings and thank you. Thank you again. All right. And thanks to you too because I am not, you know, a side note. 
a social media upfront type of person and I'm really grateful for a platform that I don't feel this needed rush to oversell my you know the channel and yet I trust it by the grace of God the universe that my videos get to the right people rather I do not record another video. These are some timeless, truthful messages. And I pray that they find you all well. Or, guess what? On the journey to wealth. All right. Love you guys.